arguably one of the most highly anticipated films for 2017. Baby Driver is an action thriller motion picture that is both directed and written by renowned British director Edgar Wright. The one and only behind remarkable works of art such as Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and Ant-Man. Starring Ansel Elgood, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, Lily James, John Bertanel, Kevin Spacey, and more. Baby Driver details a story about a young getaway driver who relies on the beat of his music to overcome tinnitus in his ears. He suffers after a childhood accident. When he meets the ideal woman of his dreams, Deborah, Baby seizes the opportunity to ditch his criminal life behind and make a clean getaway to finally live free. That said, he must face the music when a doomed heist threatens his life and love after being coerced into working for a huge crime boss. Here are 69 facts about Baby Driver you should know. Wright cast Ansel Elgood to play Baby, the main character in Baby Driver. Because of his passion for musicality, Elgood, age 22 at the time of shooting, writes music, plays instruments, can DJ, and even dance. Naturally, he is a quintessential fit for a character who holds music as a huge part of his life. The car baby drives in the opening scene is a 2006 Subaru VRX in San Remo Red. The stunt supervisors all agreed that the gunfights in Baby Driver were the hardest to film as every gunshot had to be perfectly timed to the music playing for that scene. No one could mess it up as every step had to be in time, every line had to be the same, and every moment had to be faultless. The Mike Mears masks actually were supposed to be the masks of Michael Mears from the Halloween series. But the producers were unable to obtain legal permission. Edgar Wright then reached out to the comedian Mike Mears about using masks of his likeliness instead, who thought the scene was funny and gave his blessing. According to Edgar Wright, each script sent to the main actors that were wanted for their respective roles included an iPod that contained list of songs that were to be played while reading a particular scene in order to emphasize the tone. The extensive collection of sunglasses and iPods that Baby owns were not bought by him. They were taken from cars he stole. In an interview, Edgar Wright said, if he has been stealing cars since he was 12, the main thing that he would have inherited from these stolen cars are people's sunglasses and iPods. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Edgar Wright explains why Baby doesn't use smartphones for his music and calls. It's because the modern day technology like smartphones can be tracked, so by using burners and iPods, Baby can stay off the grid. In almost every scene where no music is playing, you can hear a slight ringing in the background, the sound of Baby's tinnitus. In speaking to Slash Film about Baby Driver, Edgar said, What I did with this season is I picked movies that had car chases of my youth. So there are not as many recent ones because I kept it where I started making movies myself, which was around 1994. I chose the car chases that really inspired me when I was younger because I had the original idea for Baby Driver in 1995. So I was thinking about the films up until that point. The movies that he was talking about are Bullet, The Italian Job, The French Connection, Vanishing Point, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry, Freebie and the Bean, Smokey and the Bandit, The Driver, The Blues Brothers, and To Live and Die in LA. In 1995, Wright was 21, living in North London, and while he was editing his first film, Face Full of Fingers, he was listening to John Spencer's Blues Explosion, and would visualize the action of Baby Trevor, specifically the film's opening car chase, 
without knowing anything about the story or characters. They shut down the I-85, one of Atlanta's busiest highways, twice for the opening chase sequence and the second time they reshot about 85% of the sequence. But Wright was able to cut a lot of the footage together to show the actors what the movie would look like, since this was towards the beginning of the shoot. Wright says he didn't really intend for Baby's jacket to be like Han Solo's but says even Phil Lord and Chris Miller pointed out that it looks like Hans' jacket. The freeway carjacking scene is soundtracked to Neat 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 by The Damned, but cinematographer Bill Pope told Wright the scene was going to be longer than the song. Wright's fix was to have Baby rewind the song at one point, so the song actually just lost for the entire sequence. Wright shot the rewind bit on one of the last days of production as a fix. Wright was inspired to use the dams in the film after watching a documentary in which the band members were lamenting the fact that their songs never get used in movies. Blues rock singer John Spencer, whose song Bell Bottoms is used in the first robbery, plays a jail guard. When Edgar Wright wanted Ansel Elgott to be more stern in a shot, he used the code words Man Driver. He taught him the Kubrick look by showing Ansel a picture on his phone of Malcolm McDowell in character in a clockwork orange. The first R-rated movie to be given permission to show footage from Disney film, Monsters, Inc. Pete Doctor, the director of Monsters, Inc. is given a special thanks credit as a result. Baby and Deborah are frequently dressed in black and white. In an interview, Ansel Elgood said it was to the contrast with other characters and to give their love story a more timeless feel. During the opening credits when Baby is going to get coffee and listening to Harlem Shuffle, lyrics to the song can be seen on graffiti, signs and posters as he passes them. In early 2017, Edgar Wright tweeted, Meryl Streep is in our movie. After he quickly deleted it, many people speculated whether or not Streep was in the film. While she doesn't appear in the film itself, Streep does appear on a TV screen while Baby is flipping through channels. In a clip from It's Complicated. In the restaurant scene, Kevin Spacey's character is seen talking to Big Boy and Killer Mike. They also contribute a song to the film soundtrack. As this movie is filmed in Atlanta, and Edgar Wright added many touches to make it authentically Atlantan, when the booze diner chef answers the phone and says, What else you have? This is most likely a reference to famous Atlanta diner, The Varsity, where the employees take your order by asking, What else you have? Both Ansel Elgott and John Hamm received a month of driving training to prepare for the extensive and elaborate chase scenes in the movie. Multiple actors auditioned for the role of baby's foster father, Joseph, but CJ Jones was the only one who auditioned that was actually deaf. Despite Edgar Wright insisting on using less CGI, Visual effects company Double Negative provided about 450 VFX shots, mostly for cleanup, digital cars, background objects, and combining practical shots. The studio pressured Edgar Wright to cut the foot chase scene because the movie was starting to go over budget. Wright deferred a portion of his directing fee to ensure the scene was completed. The studio requested that the scene in which Baby mispronounces the band, T-Rex, as Trex, be cut from the film because it made the characters sound dumb, though Edgar Wright refused. Edgar Wright generally doesn't allow improv on his sets, though he did make a few exceptions this time, namely for Jamie Foxx. In reference to the character of Talk, 
Director Edgar Wright described him as like one of those awful father figures who can be great in rare moments. The song Easy by Commodores was requested for the movie by Ansel Elgort. After Edgar Wright asked him if there were any songs he knew by heart. The character Bats gets annoyed when asked if he knew about Barbara Streisand, though in reality Jamie Foxx is close friends with her. During one scene where Baby is flicking through channels, a short clip from Blue's song by Ben Troyal is shown. Edgar Wright directed this music video and has stated this is where he practiced the opening scene to Baby Driver. Quentin Tarantino read the script and told Wright about another song called Debra by Dave Edmund, but the character in the song was a complete so Wright opted to just use the T-Rex and Back Tabra songs instead. Bill Pope says the circular shot in the restaurant between Baby and Debra was tricky to shoot because it had to end exactly when Kevin Spacey toast his drink. Wright didn't want to shoot Leafy Woody Atlanta because a leafy freeway makes you feel like the characters have gotten away or looks too much like Smokey and Bandit in the country. So for almost the entirety of the movie, they shot in urban areas. The state of Georgia offered to shut down rural freeways for their use, but Wright wanted to shoot in the heart of the city. They did four days of reshoots after two test screenings. The scene in the car between Baby and Debra when they kiss after Doc confronts Baby was a reshoot and wasn't shot by Bill Pope. Ken Sang shot it instead because Pope was unavailable. Audiences wanted to use a bit more between Baby and Debra before Debra makes the decision to leave with Baby. But during the filming of the shot of them kissing, they had overrun on the location by an hour so the police were yelling off screen to tell them to wrap it up. The scene with Baby and Doc's nephew came from an interview Wright did with an ex-con who said he would take a son or a nephew with him to case back so he seemed less suspicious. J.B. Fox had a habit of watching takes back on the monitors next to Wright and when it would be a shot of John Hamm, Fox would turn to Wright and say he handsome. So the line got added into the movie. According to Edgar Wright, many people thought that the diner set was a real restaurant and occasionally groups would enter and sit down to have lunch. The tequila scene took three days to shoot and one extra day of second unit, which Wright shot with stunt coordinator Darren Prescott. There were also inserts in the diner scene of John Hamm holding his fork like he's going to stab Jamie Foxx's character. But Wright felt it was complicating the scene too much, but you can still see Ham holding his fork in the white shots. In the editing room, the diner scene ran on for about 90 seconds, longer than the song that was intended for the scene, Something is Wrong with My Baby. So Wright hit the genius button on his iTunes on that song and found every little bit hurts, which they added to the scene so music would play throughout. The short scene of Debra being stood up at the diner wasn't in the script, but Wright improvised it during production when he realized the audience would need to know what Debra was up to at this point in the story. In shooting the foot chase, Wright says first unit and second unit were sometimes shooting simultaneously in the same area. Since Ansel Elgort is 21 and 6 feet 4 inches, Bill Pop says he had to trade off grips to keep up with him with the camera while he was running. Wright first met John Hamm when Ham was hosted SNL at the after party. He wrote the character of Buddy for him at that time. 
Doc's car, the Mercedes Benz S550, had to have its computer systems modified for the case seen since the car is engineered to correct itself when it goes out of control. Edgar Wright initially came up with the idea for Baby Driver while listening to the song Bell Bottoms by the John Spencer Blues Explosion. According to production designer Marcus Rowland, the 50s themed diner where Deborah works was converted from an abandoned Denny's. Flea or Michael Peter Balzari from the Red Hot Chili Peppers appears in Baby Driver and over the production time. Both Jamie Foxx and Ansel Elgott grew very close to the musician. They would hang out at Flea's studio and are apparently making a record together. As a British director, Wright wanted to make sure that his script wasn't too British and to make Baby Driver more of an American crime film. He consulted Joey Loya, an ex-con who wrote the book The Man Who Outgrew His Prison Cell, about his time behind bars. The only cast remained for the first table reading of the script in 2012 is John Hamm. As for Baby's love interest Deborah, Emma Stone was originally supposed to play the character but turned down the opportunity to star in La La Land. Chloe Grace Moretz was also in the running but then dropped out to film in The Little Mermaid. A majority of the on-road action in Baby Driver are carried out by the actors themselves and stunt drivers who perfected the real tricky stuff without the aid of green screen manipulation and visual effects. Due to this, there wasn't a lot of room for error. It was important to write to ensure that the beats of the car chases and action scenes were in lockstep with those of the soundtrack. To do that, they had to tediously be at the locations to measure the roads out before actually driving the car and timing everything. They choreographed everything to music instead of the other way around. During his interview on the Nerdiest podcast, Edgar Wright admitted to putting a bunch of Easter eggs in this film. He told Chris Hardwick one of the cars has a license plate that represents the release date of another one of his films. Whenever Edgar Wright had Jamie Foxx and Kevin Spacey in the same shot, he would whisper to a colleague double Oscar shot. The tracking shot in the beginning of the movie where baby gets coffee took 28 takes. The 21st take is the one used in the movie. The film is named after Simon and Garfunkel's song, Baby Driver, from their 1970 album, Bridge Over Troubled Water. The song appears in the film during the end credits. This is the first time since A Fistful of Fingers that Edgar Wright is the sole credited writer on one of his films. Michael Douglas was considered for the role of Doc. Edgar Wright was responsible for his casting as Hank Payne in Ant-Man before Wright left the project. Ansel Elgott beat Logan Lerman and John Loega for the title role. Ansel Elgott had been trained in ballet and other forms of dance since childhood, a skill which proved to be useful for the musically choreographed action scenes. Wright was insistent on filming most of the chase scenes in the daylight because it created an extra air of collision tension. Edgar Wright directly reached out to hip-hop artists Big Boy and Killer Mike for cameo appearances in the film. Fellow director and friend of Edgar Wright, Robert Rodriguez, suggested Isa Gonzalez for the role of Darling. 
over 40 streets in Atlanta were closed over the course of the production to film the movie's elaborate chase scenes. One of the red Subaru VRX used in the film was given to Ansel Algood after he pleaded with the filmmakers to give him the car after filming had wrapped up. During the post office scene, the teller at the counter quotes Dolly Parton, Everybody wants happiness, nobody wants pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. The final heist begins in the rain when Baby is released from prison. A rainbow is visible in the background. When Baby flicks through the TV channels toward the start of the film, the dialogue from each channel teases what happens in the final heist. After the first bank robbery, Griff jokes, if you don't see me again, it's because I'm dead. His character is never seen again in the film. The numbers 28071978 on Baby's prison jumpsuit at the end of the film correspond to the release date of the driver.